had to do it to him. Yo, what's going on, guys? So today we're gonna, you know, set up the PS5 right here. Got the dual sense and uh, got my monitors right here. Unfortunately, Sony, please, if you're listening to this, I'm begging you, please just support 1440p. This is a 144 hertz 1440p monitor. And because you guys are being lazy, kind of, um, I can only play 1080p content from my PS5 right here. So it's kind of trash. Uh, I feel like, you know, at this point, like if, if you can support up to 4K, up to 8K actually, then you should be able to support 1440p, no problem. So I hope you guys are on that Quad HD train real soon with an update. So anyways, let's get started guys. Uh, no more drama here. Uh, I know Sony is never gonna probably see that, but I hope they do. Uh, this is the HDMI 2.1 cable. Thick boy, kinda, kinda really big. Never seen an HDMI that big. That's how you know it's like 2.1, so that supports 4K at 120 frames per second. You know, pretty cool. Here I got my games and shit. Um, and here I got the power cord. So it's nothing complicated to you know get the PS5 going. There's not a lot uh, to pretty much go over. But uh, let's just put this thing in right here, and uh, I'm gonna connect this. So you guys give me a second. Don't mind the mess and the bed and shit. So. Uh, we're just gonna go here and connect this so wait, let me just show you guys you know might as well show you guys while i have it here so if you guys didn't know you guys can plug in this right there this is my first time turning this thing on so it's gonna be pretty cool it has a nice boot animation and i never done it so hopefully we can both figure it out the irony is that i am making this video on how to set up the ps5 but um at the same time, I've never really done it, so it's kind of weird for me to be doing a tutorial on something I've never done. But, I mean, I guess you can see it as a PS5 setup video. Um, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to... We'll do that right there. Okay, so, um, this thing is going crazy, the switch. Um... Let me just put this. I'm a mess, you guys. I apologize for that. Um, let's see. Let's connect the HDMI cable now to the PS5. I should have done that before. You guys don't need to see that. It's just very standard. You plug in. That's it. No, no science to that. I'm going to put it through the back here because it's just seamless. And then, okay, for this, this is where it's going to get complex. By the way, this is the mic I use for commentaries. You guys see the, the setup right there. Um, let me see. So this is gonna be kind of messy, guys. Oh shit. I'm scared. I feel like I'm gonna mess up the monitor, the screen. So, we got it to work. Okay, so we're back. We're done. For some reason, that was very hard because this monitor is just very notoriously hard to put an HDMI cable in. You have to like actually get the whole thing moving. So, um, I don't see any like little orange light on this that signifies that it has power. But I'm just gonna assume. By the way, did we? Was there a? Uh, did we get a, a USB co cable on the PS5 box? So guys, um, I took a pretty big L. So <laughs> I was wondering, wait, I know for the first time you connect the DualSense controller to like the console, I know I had to connect it like with a cable, but I didn't see what the cable was. I was like, what happened? Did I not get it? And it turns out I never took it out of the box here from, from when I did the unboxing earlier. So, <laughs> Uh, I feel like I just I feel pretty dumb for that damn okay so we're just gonna go just just gonna go with it it's right here guys so yes you guys are supposed to get a USB A to a USB type C cable so you guys can charge the controller and uh, yeah I'm hoping hold up let me make sure this thing is on because we need to see that first boot animation okay hold up Okay guys, so um, I've been having a field day today just trying to figure out everything. So um, I have so many cables on there that 
when I attempted to connect the PS5 to the to the wall, I disconnected my monitors and pretty much everything else. So that's why this thing went off earlier and I didn't even realize. So I was gonna like turn on the PS5 without having connected the display, which is pretty funny. But now let's switch to the let's switch to the input for the HDMI and uh, let's see the magic happens. So let's get as close shot right here. So this is it. Oh, same sound and everything. Classic. Let's see what the screen shows right here. Okay, so familiar startup like PS4. Pretty epic, I gotta say. Um, I believe that's how it turns on for the first time. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty that's a pretty welcoming animation right there. Um, so we're just gonna connect this right here to the front. Pretty simple, nothing crazy. Let's see if it connects automatically. You think it's gonna connect? No. Nah, we just we gotta do this, guys. We gotta connect. It. At least for the first time. And now we do this, oh, look at the nice orange right there. Yo, I like the lights right here. I love the, the fact that they use LEDs. It's a nice little extra touch. Oh, say, say word. Okay, so United States, we already know this. USA. Then uh, here we're gonna go connect to the Wi-Fi. So, so it's connecting. Hopefully it goes through, you know, everything goes well. I'm gonna connect it to ethernet later on because that's just so much better but for now we're just gonna do Wi-Fi for the sake of this setup so once you got to connect this to the thing we can adjust the display so I mean we're just gonna do that that looks perfect and uh, insert a game this if you have a game this insert it now and we'll install it while you continue with the setup say word I love that it's just you know in the background it's gonna be downloading it like I told you guys if you guys get the PS4 edition of Miles Morales, the superior version because you get you can you can play this disc on the PS4, obviously PS4, and on the PS5, but it won't play the PS4 game on the PS5. On the PS5, you can also play the PS5 version with the ray tracing and the new graphics and 4K and all of that. So definitely get this so you can just so you can play both on PS4 and PS5 if you care at all. Like maybe you don't, but I'm just saying. And simple as that. You read the disc, you guys can see by the little icon right there. And then we're just gonna continue. Continue. All right, so optimized experience. Low power, no, no, Opt no way. Low power use, custom, always applies the latest from other. I think I'll just go with that, you know, nothing crazy. And uh, if you guys give me a second, I'm just gonna read all of this on video, obviously and uh you know read it to you guys i'm joking <laughs> no way okay so continue update system um do we want to do that now um okay we'll do it now but i think it's just gonna be really fast so um as you guys can see i decided to um install the update because i'm awesome and i apparently have a lot of patience so this wasn't a mistake at all, I promise. Okay, so we're finally back here, home. We're just gonna you know, do a little, a little, boop. No, wait, is it? No, it's boop, right there. Yeah, you gotta actually press it. A uh, new version of your wireless controller. Sure, the controller, that's probably gonna be like really fast. I'm just, I just like updating everything, guys, to the latest version, so I'm sorry about that. You guys aren't gonna see the waiting and everything. So we're back guys, um, now we're just doing privacy settings, nothing too interesting, but I'm gonna go over it with you guys. This is a setup video after all. So we got social and open, and then basically just how like you're setting up your profile. So basically the description says, I like to maximize my chances to connect, be seen and socialize. Team player, effortless multiplayer, but I limit who knows my real identity. So here I think people can see your real identity here like they have to request it i think friend focus anything for my crew more restrictions for strangers so 
I think that's just like less information that they see. Just keep it there. Um, and I keep a solo and focus. I keep a low profile. I choose who I interact with. So I, I imagine a lot of people like this, you know, just keep everything private and, and solo. I'm just going to do friend focus. I don't mind, you know, with friends and stuff. So that seems all right. That seems like a good balance. You know what I mean? Uh, confirmed, you know, all of this. You don't have to read it. Who the fuck cares? Just, just give me the console, man. Secure. Okay. I don't even know. And uh, adjust the display area. We already did this, I believe. I'm gonna set it like this because, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing cuts off, so it's good. Uh, text messages, what does it say? Protect two step verification, protect your account with extra layer of security authentication. I'm gonna do this later simply because I don't wanna you know, make this too complicated, but uh, maybe I could do a separate video for this. Um, here I got phone number, so I guess I'll add my phone number real quick. So, download media apps, uh, Disney Plus, yes, Hulu, yes, Prime Video, yes, Peacock, nope, YouTube, Netflix, of course, so I'm gonna download those, um, let me see, let me see, let me, let me, let me see, let me see, let me see, okay, continue, do this later, transfer your, no, I'll do this later, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how that's gonna work exactly, so I'd just rather do it later. Fancy. Guys, it's here. It's beautiful. Oh. Can't load. Okay, so the explore page is, you know, day one. Probably gonna take an update or something to have information. Or it works now, I guess. Um, So this is the PS5 menu, guys. It's pretty cool. I mean, just look at it. Um, Hold up, it's restarting. Something, what? Guys, I gotta crash. Okay, sure. So I guess that's that happens sometimes. I don't know. I got a crash. Let me see if I inserted the disc correctly. I don't think I did. So let me do it again. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, I'm a mess. I can't even... So I installed the disc in the wrong way. And uh, I'm not sorry, but I feel pretty, pretty dumb, honestly. So I'm going to install it the right way, I guess. Even though, like, when you have it, like, standing vertically, there's no real, like, indication of how to in properly install the disc. There it is. Hey. Uh-huh. Free PS5 upgrade. So you guys can see right here, I get the free PS5 upgrade. I told you guys. I was in line. Copy. So I'm downloading the game from the store now, for, well, from the disc. And then we'll have it here. Let's see the media section. We haven't been able to see it before, but it's launch day now, so, you know, I should be able to show it. Uh, we just got our, you know, media stuff, YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, Prime, whatever I downloaded earlier. So that's pretty cool. Um, pretty easy to access when you just want to watch movies and shit. Here, you got all your games. You got the uh, Share Factory Studio, which is supposed to be way better than the PS4 version. I don't know if I'm ever gonna if I'm ever gonna really use that, but it has more features now, so that should be cool for whoever uses it. And here we got the PlayStation Store, so let's just we can just like literally like the PlayStation Store kind of feels like like it's part of the menu. So like you see how you go from this to this, you can you go just you can just go to the store like that without loading anything. It's part of the UI, so that's that's awesome. You know that's. Oh, and also, I just want to check one more thing before I go. So, we got the PlayStation collection right here. I think this is the collection. I, I don't know, guys. I'm new to this. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. I mean, um, there's not much else I know how to show you guys at the moment. Simply because um, I just got the console, so I don't know much about it. But uh, if you guys like this video and appreciated it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And uh, I got more content coming. And uh, definitely I'll do some tutorials on the UI. Anything cool about it that you guys may not have known about it. But anyways, I appreciate the support. Thank you guys for watching. If this helped, leave a like. And peace.